What are some ways that we can fear and love God by looking after our neighbor's possessions? And what are some ways that we might steal from our neighbor without even knowing it? And how can we guard against that desire to steal? We're going to talk about these questions and more in today's confirmation video, so stick around. Welcome back, Confirmands. Good to be with you again as we are continuing through the Ten Commandments. And this is our second video on the Seventh Commandment. As always, you're going to need to have with you your catechism. And you can go ahead and turn to page 106. We're going to start there for today. We'll also have with you your Bible so you can look up some of these passages that are in your catechism. Also, don't forget to have a pen and paper so you can jot down your questions and bring them to class so we can talk about them all together. And as I said, this is our second video on the Seventh Commandment. The first one we talked about, oh, the different ways that God gives us and blesses us, earthly possessions, and, and what our possessions are really meant for. But now we're going to talk about this aspect of the Seventh Commandment of how do we fear and love God by honoring our neighbor's possessions too and not stealing. So that's going to be our topic. But let's begin by remembering that we are baptized and beloved children of God in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, let's start off right away in the Catechism. Go ahead and turn to page 106, and we're going to look at the, the bottom part of 106, uh, page 106. This is the question, how do we fear and love God in keeping the seventh commandment? And I kind of want to start there at the bottom. It says, we are to fear and love God by looking after our neighbor's well-being, by helping to protect and improve, first off, our neighbor's earthly possessions. So looking after our neighbor's earthly possessions. Now, what might that look like? Well, you know, if you go over to someone's house and they have a new video game system, you know, it might be treating their, those controllers and that console, you know, well and not throwing them around, right? Or maybe if uh, you're going to somebody who has a new car, it might be honoring their wishes about not bringing food or drink into the car. Or, you know, it might even be if someone has a new set of clothes, it might be complimenting on, on how good they look in those new clothes, right? But we want to encourage people and support them in their possessions. And also another way, as it's pointed out here for us in the catechism at the very bottom, is that we help and protect our neighbor's income and livelihood. So that might look like encouraging someone when they're having a really hard time at their job, or it might be you could leave a really good review for somebody uh, on a website about their restaurant or their store or something like that, right? But encouraging them in their income and livelihood and not doing anything that would distract from it. Now, unfortunately, we sometimes do the opposite. Whether we know we're doing the opposite or not, sometimes we still do it. Uh, take a look at the first part of question 79. That's on page 106. It says, we fear and love God by not taking God's earthly gifts from our neighbors in such ways as, well, stealing our neighbor's possessions and money. And that might seem pretty straightforward to us, but you can think about uh, stealing in a little bit broader way. So ask yourself these kind of questions. Have you ever taken something, maybe from the refrigerator, that uh, was someone else's and you took it for yourself? You know, maybe your brother or your sister had something that they're saving for themselves and you went and took it? Or uh, have you ever borrowed something from someone and just not given it back to them? That's stealing too. Uh, or maybe have you gone to a restaurant and, and you haven't given a tip to your waiter or your waitress? That's stealing too. Their job is based on the, the tips that they get. Those are all forms of stealing. So, you know, stealing isn't just breaking into someone's house and taking, it, uh, taking their possessions in the middle of the night. There are a lot of different ways that we we can steal too. Now, another thing it's, it brings up here, it says, uh, we fear and love God by not taking God's earthly gifts from our neighbors in such ways as also being lazy or sloppy when working as employees. Now, this might sound kind of strange, but if, if you think about it, right, if we're sloppy and we're lazy, we're actually stealing from God first and foremost. He has placed us in that job so that we can serve our neighbor and serve others. And if we don't do that, we're actually failing to honor God. But also, if we're lazy or we're sloppy, we're, we're stealing from our employer. You know, he pays us or she pays us a certain amount 
for a certain amount of work. And if we're taking that money and not actually giving the right amount of work back, that's stealing. And then also, we're also stealing from all those customers because you know if our boss uh, is not getting the work or that he or she needs, and he might have to raise prices. And those prices are going to be paid by the customers. So when we are lazy or we're sloppy in our work, it's the customers too that are going to might have to pay for it. And they're not getting what they're paying for. So see, stealing is kind of much bigger than just, like I said, just breaking into someone's house. And then finally, it gives us a third reason. You know, we, uh, we steal from our neighbor when we acquire goods by dishonesty or by fraud or by taking advantage of others. You know, maybe you can think of, have you ever taken credit for something that you didn't do? Or maybe have you, uh, has, did someone think that you did something and, and you knew it was somebody else who'd really did it and you did a really good job of, of something and you just simply kind of went with it and you took the credit? Uh, or, or, or maybe, you know, you're, you're just uh, maybe lying about something in order to get what you want and manipulating people. That's all part of stealing, right? Now, we're going to talk about this more in the Ninth and Tenth Commandments, but how do we then guard against this desire to steal and to take what others have? Well, here's a couple ideas, all right? Uh, some things to take away. First off, we can guard against this desire to steal by giving credit to our neighbor. So making sure that all the praise and honor that is due to someone, that they get it, right? That's a good way. Or simply being thankful for what we have, not always looking at what other people have and, and desiring that, but being content and happy with the gifts that God has given us. Remembering at all times, too, that God promises that he will provide for us everything that we need. That's really kind of at the, the root of this command, the gift that God gives us everything that we need. And he promises to always provide for us. So I think that's a good place to end for today. Uh, but remember, bring your questions, comments to class, and we'll discuss them there. But let's close with our blessing. May the Almighty and Merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us now and forever. Amen. We'll see you next time.